In today's video, we're going to learn how to import images from the web into our workbook using the new image function. We'll also explore combining this function with APIs to automatically pull images such as company logos into our workbook. Let's take a look. For example, here we have a list of employees and we need to insert an image of the employee next to their name. Instead of opening Google, searching Kylie's name, copying the image, pasting it into our workbook, and then resizing it into the cell, we can use the image function. The image function inserts an image into a cell from a source location, or in other words, a URL or a link. So to insert Kylie Leonard's picture, all we have to do is head back to Google, right-click the image we want, and click Copy Image Link. Then navigate back to our workbook, select the cell where we want to insert the image, enter the image function, and paste the URL in double quotes as the source argument. Hit enter and voila. The image function automatically pulled the image from the web and imported it into the cell for us. Now, I know you might be thinking, Emma, this doesn't seem that much faster, but there are actually a lot of benefits to using the image function. You can quickly resize the image by adjusting the column width or row height, you can use the image function's optional arguments to describe the image for accessibility, set the image's height and width, and so on. But the coolest benefit is that you can use APIs to automatically pull images from the web based on an input in a cell. For example, we need to quickly insert each company's logo next to its name before a big presentation, but we do not have time to manually search each logo. Instead of panicking, we can import them all at once using the image function and a logo API. I already entered the API source format we'll need to use into my workbook, but I will also include it in the caption below for you. To import each company's logo using this API, we need to insert the corresponding company name inside the brackets within the URL, and then use the image function to import the logo from the API server into the cell. So I'm going to select cell C3, enter the image function, and now we just need to generate the API URL for each company using the concat function. To do this, enter concat, type the first part of the URL in double quotes as the first argument, select the company name in cell B3 as the second argument, and lastly, enter the last part of the URL in double quotes as the third argument. Now that our API URL is complete, we can enter the function and fill it down the column to import each company's logo. This is so much faster than Google searching each logo. The image function makes importing images from the web easier than ever. To learn more Excel tips and tricks just like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more.